Hi everyone. My name is Zaid. Today I'm going to be talking about GrantPad for a tablet for seniors. So let's get started. So today we're going to be covering what GrantPad is, the origins of it, how to use and access it, and how much it costs, and the pros and cons. So, what is GrantPad? GrantPad is a simple and secure tablet computer accessible in the US and UK that digitally connects a senior to their family and friends. It has a senior friendly layout and seniors can easily view family photos and videos, play games, see how the weather is, listen to music, check mail, emails, make phone calls, place a video call, and much more. So it basically has many functions that of like of which you would think a normal electronic device would have. Um, what are the benefits of a grandpad? So it is set up is guided by a representative, simple and large use interface, user interface remote caregiver and administrative tools, preloaded games made to stimulate the mind. It sends voice recorded emails. So there's no need to type, which is a very good feature. The help feature connects users with live representatives, large, dig large digital buttons for navigation, text and dialing. Internet access can be limited for user safety. Small, light, easy to hold. Ships with included uh, charging dock. So we're gonna get back to these benefits later on and talk about the pros and cons of them and which ones are good and which ones may not be necessarily as good. So history, what is the background information of the grant pad? So it was founded in 2014 by Scott Lyon and Lyon or um, probably Lyon and his son, Isaac Lyon. Its headquarters are in Orange County, California. The first grant pad tablet was launched in January, 2015. So just about, um, six, just over six years ago. Um, so how does one use and access the grant pad? So how to use it? Pictures, videos, music, emails, apps, and other content shows up on the grant pad senior tablet automatically 24 hours a day. Grand pad's white glove member support will work with a trusted family member via the grant pad central admin website to identify contact that will show up automatically on a grant pad. It comes with stylus charging pad a charging pad and protective case, which are some good things that you need to protect and make sure that um, your grand pad is always functioning properly. Um, so let's start with the basics. Um, grand pad is built with you in mind. No complications. It's a very simple and secure way to stay connected with the people you love and to be entertained throughout the day. So the home screen um, can be accessed by pressing the home button. Apps are managed by your family admin and, be, and can be turned on and off for a custom experience. Um, the home screen buttons, each, uh, each uh, home screen button is different, has a different color and does something different. If we're gonna learn more about um, these home screen buttons later on. The word new will appear to indicate there's newly added contact to view. So whenever there's a new um, home screen button, it'll show up. And it'll show, show new on the top right corner of it so you know what. So page instructions. So on nearly every screen, screen you'll see instructions. And when you're when in doubt, you can always check um, the instructions just in case you have any questions or you're not sure how to use something. There's a charging cradle, which is um, an e um, it's easy to use a wireless charging station and it doubles as a hand-free tab tablet holder. So basically what that means is that you just place the iPad or the the grand pad, sorry, in the charging care plate in the so in the place where it's meant to be. It's like a small gap, and it'll automatically charge. And it also works as a place as something that will hold your um, tablet upright. There's a power button as well, which you can access from you from which you can switch on and off. Sorry, switch. Um, if you press and hold the button located on the outer edge, you can switch it on and off. There's protective care. Um, there's a, there's a, it wakes up the screen automatically when open and sends it to the sleep when closed to preserve battery life. And it has enhanced speakers. Both sides of the grand pad have premium sound, high quality from front speakers for crisp, clear listening. So I'm just gonna give you guys some time to read all that again if you need to and see it um, clearly. Um, yeah. So how to use the charging cradle. The charging cradle is the primary way to keep your grand pad powered and ready for use. 
Choose a location that is in reach regularly. We suggest placing it beside your favorite comfy chair or bedside table. Step one, power up the cradle. Plug the charging cradle into a, into a standard 120 volt wall outlet. A small green light will appear on the left side of the charger, indicating that the power is on. Step two, keep your grandpad charged wirelessly. Place your grandpad on the charging cradle facing forward and it will automatically start charging. A white light turns on to verify the charge. The device will charge with the protective cover closed as shown as shown with the as shown or as shown in the picture on the right or flipped open. Place your grandpad on the charging cradle every night or in the morning and, and in the morning it will be charged. Um, so as you can see on the right bottom the bottom right picture with a large cable behind the charging cradle. It's an eight foot long power cord, so you can, it should pretty much access any wall socket in your house from a chair or sofa. Um, and as you can see um, in a picture directly above that, when it's charging, the white light will be on. So you know that it's um, working and then you know that it's charging. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And one neat, uh, one neat feature about this, uh, about this grandpad is it uh, when you're not using it when it's charging you can keep the protective cover open and you can even play a slideshow of your photos and it'll just play automatically and it'll keep repeating while it's charging which is a neat thing how to set up a call with the grandpad so as you can see the on the top of the screen the, that green is the home button for calls that green round emoji uh well it's not an emoji but it's a logo so you can talk to others by voice or video calls. Only your private contacts can reach you. That means no more, scam, no more camera or robocalls, which is a good feature, especially in this day and age. Um, step one, you can select the person you'd like to call. Tap the picture of a person you would like to call. Then tap dial phone number to dial the phone number yourself. Tap the arrows to see more contacts and tap quit call menu to go back to the home screen. You can choose how you would like to talk. You can tap a video call if you would like to see if you would like to see the person you're talking to. And video calls are a great way to see the expression and environment of the person you're speaking to. Or you can tap phone call to hear them like on a regular uh, telephone call. And you can tap end call to end the, end the conversation and return to the call menu. So as you can see on the top right, the first photo shows you um, after you select the person you want to speak to, you just click the large green symbol that says dial phone number. And then when you're done, you can, and, and the bottom the bottom of the screen, there are two arrows where you can see different people and scroll left and right. And then the photo directly underneath that shows you whether you want, you can call them on a video call or a normal phone call, and you can cancel if you just decide that you don't want to call them anymore. And at the bottom just shows you um, the top left, the A, photo A is, um, is a video call and photo B is a phone call on the bottom. That's how it will look. So how to access the internet. So um, the internet, as you can see, is that uh, blue symbol. It's a browse, shop, play games, watch videos, or whatever you enjoy from the push of a button. Select one you want to, se step one, you want to select the site to view. You just tap a button to go to that website. Tap the arrow to see more sites and type search and type of word or phrase to search with Google. The, the grandpad can either have unrestricted internet access for the more confident user or pre-approved websites that, that can be added as buttons for quick and easy access. You can ask your family admin or whoever, or you can call grandpad assistance. Step two, you can enjoy surfing the web. So you just use the persistent navigation bar to, bar to browse between web pages and adjust the experience. You can tap the navigation button to return to the previous page or quit and return to the site selection page. You can tap down or up to move the page vertically to view more of the website. And you can adjust the volume and size of the text. And some sites may display text as an image um, and these areas will not be adjusted. That's just a disclaimer. Yeah. So the companion app. Family members can use the free companion app on their smartphones to send pictures and videos, make video calls and stay connected. It can be used on both iOS and Android devices. That basically iOS is Apple and uh, Android devices include Samsung, LG, et cetera. The family admin can uses Grandpad Central to, Central to add 
contacts to the grandparent. For each contact, the family admin can send an invitation via email or text message to each, to each contact with a unique download link. So this is just pictures of people getting contact on the right. Um, yeah. And just remember the name of this app um, where this happens is called the companion app. So grandpad versus iPad. So we all know what the iPad is one of the most, uh, it's one of the best um, tablets in the market right now, but what's the differences and how is it similar? So the Apple iPad was designed with a user interface for people 10 to 65 years old who have experience using smartphone and, and or computers. Many older seniors who have never used a computer may find the iPad confusing with pop-up alerts, Apple IDs, passwords, or just getting lost in the settings for notifications, control center, iCloud, Wi-Fi, et cetera. Grandpa, grandpad comes set up and ready to go with no configuration options except for the big volume keys for music. So basically it just means that it's made to go beyond the 65 year age gap that the iPad is made for it. Has, it's more user friendly and more, uh, and it's, everything comes set up. So you don't have to go and fiddle your settings like you have to do sometimes with an iPad. So what's the pricing? How much does the grandpad cost? So everything you need um, in the pricing is included, hardware, software, cellular data, and 24 seven customer care. So for annually, it's, um, you can prepay for a year, which is of uh, um, 58 US dollars or 72.92 Canadian dollars um, with setup and shipping included, or you can pay monthly 79 US dollars or 99.32 Canadian dollars. So those are the, that's the prices for, and this is this does not include shipping. The monthly does not include shipping. You have to pay an additional 29 US dollars or 36.5 Canadian dollars for setup and shipping. So overview of apps. So we went through a couple of them, but we just go through all of them slowly again. So the first app at the top right is video and phone calls. You can keep in touch with only those you trust, no spam or robocalls. Next is the internet. You can browse the web safely through managed sites or, full, or with full access. Then you have help, connect with a specialist that's happy to answer all of your questions in case you have any problems with the device or understanding it. Then you have games. You can play over 15, and sim 15 fun and simulating games developed specifically for seniors. Then you have email, you can type messages or send hassle-free voice recorded messages to loved ones, which is a good feature as you don't have to type. Then you have the camera, you can take photos and videos and share them with your private network. Toolbox, you can use a calculator, flashlight and magnifying glass in your day-to-day. -day. Look up, search words or topics with their simplified dictionary or encyclopedia, so you don't have to go to the internet to search something up. This is a it's just for, to search up words and topics. Then on the top right, you have a new feature, which is called Zoom multi-party video calling. You can connect for parties, community, community activities, and more, so like how we're doing right now. Um, music, you can listen to streaming stations or search for your favorite songs, photos, view pictures and videos that are added by your pr private family network, and radio. You can tune into AM, FM music, talk, and sports stations from everywhere, from anywhere around the world. The weather, you can see weather forecasts for your location and your contacts locations. Moods, you can watch and listen to relaxing videos of nature, animals, seasons, and more. And articles, you can read curated articles ranging in many topics and interests. So that's basically um, most of the apps that you get with this grandpad. And as you know, they keep add they they add more, and whenever they add more, it notifies you that a new one has been added, so you can go and read that instruction, read read that app's instructions to understand it. So, what are the pros and cons? What are the advantages and disadvantages of having the grandpad? The pros are that it's extremely senior friendly layout and easy to use. It has accessible apps for calls, emails, photos, music, news, and games has no spam, robocalls, scams, or other unwanted e email messages. It's easy to use with simple navigation, colorful buttons, color, colorful buttons and large fonts, and it has life, life support 24 seven to answer any questions. So what are the cons? It's only available in a few select countries like the US, Ireland, and the UK. 
You can you can call them at 800-704-9412 to, dis to discuss available options to purchase outside of these countries. It's a bit expensive as we went over the price already, as you know, um, yearly, I believe it was 58 US dollars and around 73 Canadian dollars. It does not have a legit web browser and mainly focuses on keeping in touch with other people rather than internet usage. So it does not have Google. It's more of a, it's just more of its own search engine, which may not be the best. So if you have any problems, you can contact um, their customer service. So in the U United States, their toll-free number is 800-704-9412. In the United Kingdom, it's um, their toll-free number is 0808-168-7278. And in Ireland, it is 1-800-938-226. So alternative tablets for seniors. Tablets can be very useful for seniors who are less proficient in technology since the largest screen of a tablet pre presents the user with an easier reading experience, experience a larger surface area for touch engagement and increased in immersion in displayed content, while still having the same general capabilities as the average smartphone, like support for onboard data and voice plans. So here are some suggestions. The Amazon Fire 7 is the best tablet under $100 for seniors. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A is the best budget Samsung tablet for seniors. The Lenovo Tab 4, the best tablet with Alexa voice assistant. Apple iPad Mini 2, the most affordable Apple tablet. So these are four suggestions for um, alternative tablets than the GrandPad. So now I'm just gonna take you through a live demo of the, I'm just gonna show you the website. So I'm just gonna show you how to search up. So you just wanna do www.grandpad.net. That's the website, I'm gonna repeat again, www.grandpad.net. So after going to the website, um, you can see the, uh, you can go to the product details to see to, have, to see frequently asked questions. As you can see here, you can read any frequently asked questions. We went through some of these today, but if you have any more questions that, that we didn't go through, you can definitely go here or ask us for sure. Um, and you can just, you can look at um, the overview of the GrandPad, the companion app, what we talked about today, member stories, um, GrandPad uh, tablet features, frequent questions, demo webinars, which is um, a webinar which will just talk you how to demonstrate how to use the GrandPad. And there's also, um, yeah, that's pretty much what um, you can do on this website. You can also buy now. So if you wanna buy um, a GrandPad, you just click buy now at the top right of the screen. And if you need help, you can call the number depending on which country you live in. Then you can just look over here. Um, and these are the benefits of the GrandPad and you can choose your billing plan. You can choose um, whichever one you want. You can either select monthly or annually. Um, you can choose who it's for. So you can either choose for a loved one or for yourself. So let me just choose for myself. And then you just have to fill in your details um, and that's it. It will just, um, and yeah, I'm not gonna go further than this, but after filling in the details, there'll be a couple of steps for um, payment, um, shipping, et cetera.